Okay, let's just go through the hand positions for caravan, okay? We have an introduction, this part. Then we have section one, which is this part. Then we have section two, which is the part where the left hand changes position. And then section three. And then a tail piece, which is this one. So let's review how the hands move to and from these different sections. Introduction, the hands are on A and E and F, A, E and F. So the hands are doing the same thing, two octaves apart. For section one, left hand stays where it is, right hand moves here, okay? And then there's a position shift in section one. Our next position is here. Okay, and then we do it in reverse, starting here and go down. Okay, section two, our left hand moves up to D with the pinky and A and B with the thumb. And the right hand just goes up one key to the next key, E to F. Here's our new position. Okay, and you might want to notice that there's a B on the top in each hand. This is this position. Okay, then there's a position shift inside this section also. After do, we do this, you're going to move your hand back to this position, okay, with thumb on E, but we're going to start on our third finger. Then we move back to the original position with both hands, except this time the right hand is going to start on the thumb. Okay. Section three. We're going to take the right hand and we're going to move it up. We're going to skip a key and move like this. Okay. Do you want to see that again? So here we are. We're going to skip a key. If you look at the top of the hand, it's also skipping a key, right? So here's our position. And our left hand is going to be one, two octaves down on the C that is two octaves below. But we have fourth finger on the right hand and thumb on the left hand. Okay. And the left hand, same notes play the A one time when it's long, okay? Then we're going to move the left hand so that we have five on A and one on E. And you've got the same notes. So let's look how much higher. One, two, three octaves higher, okay? A and E in both hands just down to the very next key and back up. And now our left hand is where we started. And we're going to actually add those two notes on the top like we did at the beginning. Okay, so the left hand is doing that same thing that it started with. And then we go down and we play the very lowest A on the piano. And you know what? That's out of range, so I'm going to move this over like that. Okay, and let's look again. So here's where we started. Same place we began the piece. Then we go all the way down to the very, very, very lowest key on the piano. What fun is that? Okay. I think I should stay down in this area so I can show you the whole thing. Okay, let's see if that works. Okay. Yeah, we can barely get that in. All right, so let's review the positions again. Introduction, here. Section one, right hand moves down, and then back up, and then back down. Section two, 
we move to here. And then right hand goes down one key lower. Then we go back to the same position that we started in. Section three, right hand, four on top, left hand, one on top. And they're both playing C's, two octaves apart. Okay. And in the middle of that section, we go to this and this. Okay. Tail piece. Oh, and be sure you notice that we're not playing the F on top here in the left hand. Okay. And then for the tail piece, Add the F back in and move back to your original position. And then up. And then at the very, very end, I didn't remind you of the very end hand position in the right hand, so let's look at how high that goes. Okay, so we go. It says three octaves higher than this. So let's move the camera. Okay, so here's where we are. And then we go one, two. Oh my gosh, that is the very highest A on the whole piano. So we play that up here. And then we go all the way down in the left hand to the lowest A. So that's a review of the hand positions for the whole piece. You need to go back and watch me playing the piece a few times so you can get a feel for how the hands move. And you'll recognize everything now that it's been explained in detail, okay? Bye-bye. Have fun.